Hello, my friends, and welcome to a good old-fashioned activewear review. It's been a while. This isn't just any activewear review, though. It is Buff Bunny Collection. This is the most excited I've been about a Buff Bunny launch ever. Like, look at these colors. Hello, that print. Are you kidding me? This isn't sponsored, by the way. Um, I'm just like a random person that they send clothes to before their launches to like test them out. <laughs> but I do have a support code with them, so if you do like any of this stuff and you want to shop it this weekend, you can use code HOPESCOPE at checkout. I said hope in this clip for some reason. I really forgot how to do this, apparently. <laughs> really supports Leo and I in this channel. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm gonna give a $100 gift card to a couple of you to shop Buff Bunny Collection. If you leave a comment in the first like hour or so that this video is up, it's just a little thank you for watching my videos and a way to give back so that some people can try some of their stuff. Ooh, what do I wanna start with? I wanna start with this print. Let me just back you up so you can get a good view of these clothes. Okay. Do we wanna start with the shorts or the leggings? Let's start with the leggings. Beautiful. Okay, I need to know what you think of this print because I feel like it's one of those things that either you love it or you hate it. I posted about it on my story the other day and somebody commented and said they thought it was draft print at first. So now I'll never be able to unsee it. <laughs> either way, I think it's cute. So this is the aqua one, but it's also coming in like a darker blue reflection and then pink. By the way, if when I'm talking, I just start making zero sense, I'm apologizing beforehand. I don't know what's going on with me today. My mom texted me this morning and she was like, I'm gonna go pick up a friend at the airport this Friday. Here's what I'm gonna wear. And I was like, oh, what day Friday? What? All right, I'm wearing a medium in both. I got a medium in pretty much everything today. Uh, here are my updated measurements, by the way. They've probably changed a little bit since my last Buff Bunny review. I feel like for most of my legging queen career, I've been right in between a small and medium, and now I have officially graduated to a medium, which I'm not mad about because <laughs> being between sizes is the worst. Nobody has asked for an explanation, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway, <laughs> because I feel like everybody associates weight gain as this like super negative thing, like, oh, you let yourself go. Oh, you must just really be going through it. When that's not it at all like honestly I'm thriving I feel like I've just been focused on so many other aspects of my life that uh, working out and eating healthy has not been a priority and we're gonna work on that but I'd like to make some changes but also how I look right now does not determine how I see myself worth wise. For most of us in our life, there are time and seasons for everything and maybe your body is changing because you're focusing on just making it through the day and you know? <laughs> maybe you started a new job, a new relationship, you had a baby. And if you've gained a bunch of weight, lost a bunch of weight, I just want you to know you're still worthy. By the way, all this stuff comes in extra, extra small to 4XL. They do a good job at not only having a good size range, but they also have like a variety of models and athletes which is super helpful. Okay, if you voted that you don't like this print for a sports bra, picture it for a second as a swimsuit, cause this and one other thing I'm gonna show you actually is meant to be like a gym to swim kind of thing. Like that was just like a cute pair of white cheeky bottoms. So I have this one and then I also got the white. The medium fits perfect. I'm generally not a fan of zip up sports bras, but I actually quite liked this one. It does have like a little clasp on the inside so you have that extra security. <laughs> I like this one better than the white one. Removal cup pads are already just terrible, but when you put them in a white sports bra, I don't know why, but it's so bad. And this one, <laughs> both of the pads got this very strange bulge in them. Yeah, those aren't nips. Those are, those are the pads just doing something. As you can tell by this live photo, Tyler just thought it was hilarious, but and then I ripped them out and we were okay. I considered it very high support. I did a little, um, what did I do in this? I think I just did cardio. Okay, the leggings. These are the limitless leggings. These are one of my favorite leggings that Buff Bunny does. It's like a performancey material. Can we talk about these pockets? Look how deep they are. One of their more compressing leggings then they have a high seamless waistband. Oh, we gotta talk about sheerness. So these leggings are the blueprint printed on a white legging. The Shiro meter is the device I use to get the squat test scores. Buff Bunny Collection is actually who introduced me to this little guy. And most of the time it is spot on, but it hated these. They only got a 78%, but they are solid. I'm wearing the iconic bright printed underwear on the right and nude underwear on the left. These are full length by the way. And I give these a nine and a half out of 10. I can't think of anything I don't like. I have been really, really liking drawstring waist leggings lately. So like if they were to come out with this with a uh, Oh, like these Sarah's Day ones. A drawstring like that, I would die. That's just personal preference though. It wouldn't necessarily like make them better, but continuing on. These shorts are the bomb. They're called the flow shorts. I'm wearing a medium. I almost wonder if I could do a large because I feel like they would be more flowy, but like the inner layer fits well in the medium. So this is the only reflection print color that they're coming out with, I believe, but they are going to have a couple solid colors too. I already have two of these in both of the marble prints that they came out with a little while ago. Lengthwise, they have 
just a two inch inner and then the three inch outer. I wish they had pockets right here. They do have two pockets in the back, but like. As far as like a running short goes, these are definitely my favorite that I've tried. Now let me introduce you to my favorite sports bra. The Rosa bra. I literally wore this to my spin class this morning, so this is kind of actually really gross, but this is the Tiki Yellow. And then I also have it in this Shimmer Sand, which we're gonna talk about later because it's not quite the same thing. I can tell you with confidence, this is my favorite sports bra. And I've tried a lot of sports bras. And like, this thing is deep. They go all the way down there. And then these three drawers are full of them as well. But I'm telling you, the one I always reach for is this one or the Revolution Brow, which is basically the same thing, but it has like a more square neckline. And they're gonna be coming out with colors of that as well. This will be considered high to medium support. It has removable cut pads. The long line that doesn't have a seam at the end, so it's not gonna like dig in. I have like probably 20 of these <laughs> and they're pretty much all in a small. I tried a medium this time and honestly, as far as comfort and just being flattering goes, I prefer the medium. The straps fit great, but it's definitely medium support where I feel like when I wear the smalls, I'm really like snug in there. I'll be sitting here editing this video right now and I came across something hilarious on my computer. I'm gonna put it at the end. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Hope this review is too nice. Don't you worry, the Ruthless is coming up. Naturally, I, I wanted to start with like my favorite things first, but oh no, these leggings are still wet. Also part of the outfit I wore this morning to my workout. This is so gross. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this outfit because it didn't quite meet my expectation and it was the outfit I was the most excited about. We've got the Loch Ness legging. Oh, good thing this is here so I can show you how long they are. Wow. And how cool are they with like the multicolored stitching? They're really, really soft, made from the energy fabric, which says light compression, but maybe I sh should have just gotten the small, because I'm not feeling any compression in these. High seamless waistband, no front seam, which is all wonderful, but I felt like in my spin class, they were rolling down quite a bit. Just the whole belly comes out. And that could just be a sizing issue. Maybe I'll try to get a small in these. These are also one of those like really stretchy, super soft and brushed on the inside and the outside. So they're a little bit like slipperier than some other leggings. Oh, look at the back stitching too though. They are very squat proof though. Most of the brushed leggings from Buff Bunny in the energy or the Nulu fabrics are. If you've been following my active wear reviews for a while, you know I love mesh tops. I'm very picky about my workout tops. I prefer for it to feel like I'm not wearing a top. <laughs> I have a bunch of them. Most of them look like this, like short sleeve. They fit a little bit oversized. So that's what I was expecting from this tee and it's not. It's a pretty heavy mesh. So I was still sweating in it and I still took it off halfway through class. And then I did get this in a small. Maybe if it was a medium, it would be a little bit more oversized and allow a little bit more airflow. The Jasmine Jogger. The OG that stole my heart back in the day is finally back. It's been, it has to have been like two years since they've done these. And these are some of my favorite joggers. If you're in the market for something that is like pretty lightweight and stretchy and more fitted, let me try them on. Fitted is what I was trying to say. See like these are medium and they still like almost look like a legging. <laughs> but then the bottom is very jogger-like with little cuff, seam details on the knees. I just love these though. Like, Aren't they so flattering? Zip pockets. So this is the Aquarius one piece. Oh no, I'm watching this back and the pads are doing the thing. This is, this is the other gym to swim item I was talking about. I literally can't. Mostly swim. I was trying to think of how this could work at the gym, but actually with the tiki yellow flow shorts, that could be a cute look. And then the sleeves are all mesh. I didn't realize that when I first saw it, but that is brilliant. This is the H2O blue and then it's also coming in all black. It cuts up pretty high on the leg and then is like decently cheeky on the back. But honestly, Honestly, I love these swimsuits. I always have, but especially if you're like, I don't know, I'm not feeling super comfy in a swimsuit right now for whatever reason. I'm telling you, these types of swimsuits are where it's at because you are like fully covered, but not in like a, a frumpy way. It's super sporty. Like you look like you're about to go catch some waves, <laughs> even if you've never surfed in your life like me. You know what I mean though? You're also not gonna get sunburned. So it's like a double win. <laughs> Let's talk about another outfit that I'm not sure about. It's this shimmering sand set. Um, it's the Rosa bra and the Rebel leggings, which they've done before and they're doing it again in black as well as this like tan color. I wore this to the gym for just like a cardio day on the treadmill in the theater room that I just discovered my gym had. It took me like a year to realize that was even there, but it's cold and it's dark and it's wonderful. Oh, and then I also wore the Trident tee with it and I can't find it. I think it's in the wash right now. I wish I could try it on for you. If I can find it, I'm gonna insert myself trying it on right here. It is phenomenal. Like I said, I'm so picky 
sticky with gym tops and this one is so great. It feels like you're not wearing a shirt. It is that lightweight and it like feels cool against your skin, which is perfect for summer. Like this is a shirt that I'm not just gonna work out in. I'm gonna wear it around the house. I'm gonna wear it with jeans, with dresses. And it's also coming in tan lines and black and you bet your little bum I'm gonna get both of those. Okay, but back to this shimmer sand set. I'm actually a big fan of the black rebel leggings. They have like a light to medium compression and then they literally sparkle. It's almost like a sparkly faux leather. The shimmering sand was just not making me feel the same type of way. I just, there's something about this color of fabric and the fact that it like reflects that I felt like it was emphasizing my cellulite. I don't think I love it with my skin tone. They definitely like stay up really well during your workout and they are pretty darn squat proof, which is amazing. And they don't really show sweat, what it looks like on the sports bra. So even though there's quite a bit, it blends really nicely into this fabric, but it does kind of like trap the heat and moisture. This like isn't a Rosa bra. It's like the same shape and style and fit and everything, but the fact that it's not the soft fabric just, it isn't quite the same for me, so. But just like the regular black Rosa bra and then the black Rebel leggings, that's where it's at for me. What are we gonna think of this one? Mm, we're getting a little bit of squish. This is pretty cute. This is my first time trying on this one. Ah, oh, I thought there was gonna be a pocket. <laughs> oh, the disappointment that just hit. This is a surf and turf top in Miami Vice. And then it's also coming in the teal and the black and the black with the colored stitching. Same thing with the wave bike short coming in those same colors. This is a small top, medium bottom. This is one of the fabrics that's soft and stretchy enough that uh, it, it's good. Maybe it's pinching my arms a little. Maybe a medium would have fit slightly better. Okay, it says these are a seven inch biker short. Seven inch usually comes down to like here on me. I don't think it's the length. I think it's just the seam at the bottom that's bugging me on these, but they're super cute short. They also have that really flattering seam on the back. Um, and then here's the squat test for these. Kind of goes for all of the Miami Vice pink bottoms. Oh, and then no front seam and the seamless high waist. These ones come up nice and high though. Like they come up a little bit higher than the Loch Ness leggings. See, this is one of those shirts that is like super cute and I'll wear it, but I'll take it off after like my warm up because I just get so sweaty. This, this is the legging I was waiting for. <laughs> also move over Rosa bra. This one is coming for the favorite spot. This is the siren. Both this and the siren bottoms are made from the energy fabric, which I think is my favorite fabric that they do. It's still really, really soft, but it has just a little bit of compression to it. So this bra has like a very similar feel to the Rosa bra. I got this one in a medium and I think I could have done a small. I feel like with the small, the straps would feel a little bit tighter. Speaking of, look how cute these straps are. This one's considered a medium support. And then that same seamless long line. Okay, this siren leggings. I think these are also coming in a short, but it's called, is it called the siren short? I think it's also called the siren short. Oh yeah, the biker short is nine inches though. That's why I didn't want it. Cause it's one of those that comes like almost all the way down to your knee, which is not my favorite look on me. These are basically the legacy legging, which are my favorite leggings that Buff Bunny does. They have this amazing contour on the back. Like, are you kidding me? But the difference between these and the legacy is this crisscross waistband, which I actually really like. Sometimes crisscross waistbands like don't come up high enough, but this one does. A little, little sliver of tummy there. Also no front seam. And then even the crisscross waist, it doesn't have seams at the top. Here's the squat test on these guys, pretty solid. Just don't wear printed underwear with any of these, obviously. <laughs> a million out of 10 recommend these leggings though. I feel like this was a pretty positive, ruthless review. They're one of the brands that is very good about listening to the feedback from their athletes, their customers, random people like me. And they're not afraid to make changes to things based on that. So they've just really perfected a lot of this stuff. If you want to try this brand and you can only get like one thing, would definitely suggest a sports bra. These three are my faves. These siren leggings, or I think they still have some legacy leggings if you're not a fan of the crisscross waist. Amazing. It seemed pretty pro to end the video with footage that I found of baby Leo and I in our very first Buff Bunny review of their very first collection. The description states it will support you in the gym and on the dance floor. Because I party every day on the weekend until I get partied out. These pants have beautiful contouring and giant pockets. Make sure to hit that little red button. I have more reviews coming. See you guys in the next video. Say goodbye Leo. Say bye YouTube.